Hi guys. Oh, oh, oh stop. Go. Hi guys. It's me, Craig from Fabricby and James from Fabricby. Uh, we're heading down to Franklin's Gardens to catch up with some of the Saints guys and find out their thoughts before this weekend's game against Exeter in the semi-final of the Premiership. So, let's get down there. Gardens today to see the Saints before their semi-final against Exeter on Saturday. We've got all access pass here so we can watch them train. We're going to chat to some of the players in a bit. So we'll be talking to Lewis Ludlam and maybe some others uh, throughout the day. So let's go on with our day. Let's go into the stadium and have a look. Rugby and today I'm joined by Lewis Ludlam with an A as I found out today on Instagram. Uh, well, uh, just one of those moments. So we've got a few questions that you've sent in and we're going to ask Lewis. So welcome Lewis first of all. Thank you. So thoughts on next, well this weekend's semi-final then. What's your thoughts on it after this weekend going down to Exeter? What yeah. are your thoughts on it? Um, holds, a, holds a different challenge really. Um, playing the same, same team two weeks in a row so um, there's, there's benefits to that. I mean, we, we sort of know what they're going to bring, and um, we've got a rough idea of, of, of the way they, they way they sort of play, and we can tailor our game towards that as well. So, is it an advantage? Um, would you say then? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's advantages to it, but at the same time, they know what we're going to bring, and um, I mean, they've got well, it's even this season now. Uh, we beat them here; they beat us there, so um, we're we'll looking forward to the for. challenge. So, um, but yeah, it'll be, be a good game. The atmosphere is always good down there, and I'm looking forward to it. Is there enough belief in the squad that Northampton can win their playoff game? Oh, absolutely. Um, we said from the start of the season we want to be a, a top four club, and these are the, these are the moments you play for. Um, nobody talks about games at the end of your career; they talk about the trophies you've won. So um, we're looking forward to the challenge. We're, we're confident. We, I mean, we beat them here at home, and we're hoping to do the same again. C. Seth says, "How did it feel to end Jack Yendall with Big Court?" Oh uh, yeah, it's it, it, it short. I mean, we did, we did our homework. We knew that was a, a play they're going to be run, so we we were set up for that in the week, and just it, it paid off. When you got released from the Saints DPP, what was your reaction? Um, obviously, initially, very very upset. Um, cause I've always wanted to be a professional rugby player, but um, it was just about going back and, and working about working out how I wanted to get back in. Um, I got a lot of support from my school as well, which was, which was awesome, and similar to this this season as well, where the, my school sort of said, right, the pressure's off you now, go and enjoy your rugby, go and develop as a young player now, and um, I think I did that and improved as a player, a player because of it. What's your proudest moment in a St Joe's shirt? Uh, we won we won our school festival, which was a really proud moment for me. Um, it's a pretty pretty big deal at our school because. Um, it was what school I'm from, it's just a small school in, in Ipswich, I think there was about 50 people in a year and managed to beat a lot of, uh, a lot of big schools of, on, on our turf, so yeah, that was a really, really proud moment for me. Great stuff. Yeah, the, the thing he said to us is, the, the only thing he can really ask from us is, is we work hard and give 100% every time and when you've got a coach telling that to you, it gives you the confidence to go out and express yourself. And, um, once the work rate's there, you, you take the learnings out of it, but um, mistakes is where you grow as a player and he's given us the confidence to make mistakes and, and learn and grow as a player and he's put a lot of confidence in us and putting us out here for, for some really big games so yeah that's, that's awesome as a young player. What is your best rugby moment? Um, God it's a tough one. I, th I think this season beating Exeter here was a, oh, wow. was so a big then it one. Could be a, it yeah. could, could, if you win this weekend that could be you. Oh absolutely I mean that was one, one hell of a moment really because there's a lot of young lads in that side who didn't Really expect to be involved as much as we have this season, um, and then to get to get result against here against a, a really good chief side was, was was awesome for us. So a couple of quick questions here then. Who is the funniest at the Saints? Uh, Hask is very funny. <laughs> Hask is 
That's too obvious choice. Uh, Hilly is very funny as well. Paul Hill, but he doesn't mean to be, which is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is the best thing. This was from C Beckett 95. Says, how's that scar under your eye looking nowadays? Yeah, very good, Beckett. <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, Beckett's, Beckett's the man who gave me the scar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> This one's from Nick Fletcher 86. It says, Do you still drive a Fiat 500? No, not anymore. I've got rid of the 500. I'm too big for my 500 now. <laughs> I do miss my Fiat 500. <laughs> this is from Joe Brock 14. It says, Can you sing Jerusalem without crying yet? <laughs> That's, <laughs> I'm not going to say why, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> and this one's from Aaron Dudlam. It says, Where do you get your stunning good looks from? <laughs> My mother, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just final bit then, uh, what's been your favourite match of this season? Um, like, like I say, probably that Exeter match. Um, what was it? For the Prem, was Prem was Cup was final? Prem, Prem Cup final was unbelievable as well. Um, to, to have a trophy, well, one trophy to show for, you, for, your, for your work in the season um, was awesome. But um, we, we've got another opportunity to, to win another one. and. Um, hopefully this one, this, this week will be a mem memorable game and we can kick on and hopefully get a Premiership final. Brilliant. Well, good luck for Saturday. Brilliant. And, thank uh, you. Thanks very much for joining. No thank worries. You. Cheers. Appreciate thank you. it. Cheers. What then? No, but look, look, it's just standing. <laughs> just standing. You know, it's standard. And okay. okay. Hey guys, so yes, thanks a lot for watching along today. Uh, we It was great seeing behind the scenes of the Saints at a press day, seeing them train and seeing how they're preparing for the semi-final this weekend against Exeter. Um, and thank you, James, for joining me. No worries at all, thank you for having me. It was good fun. So uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye.